to another Iowa Carver beer review and today we have a fall seasonal for you probably one of the last that I'll be doing but this is a, an Oktoberfest beer it is the Oktoberfest from Shells Brewing in New Ulm Minnesota um, for whatever reason I mean I've had numerous opportunity I mean this has been for sale in our area for for quite some time and, and I've just never picked this one up and try it so we're doing it now um, comes in at an ABV of 5.5 percent um, the malts are pale two row Munich malts and carapils and the hops are Liberty and I believe German Pearl so uh, let's go ahead and get a get this one cracked nice hiss there No shortage of carbonation. Poured up a good two finger head. It's very clear. There's a nice carbonation, nice steady stream of bubbles. It's a uh, you know, kind of your a, a light copper. Um, it's lighter than a lot of the Marzen styles, which is what most of the Oktoberfest beers are. It looks a little bit lighter in color than, you know, say for instance, Sam Adams and um, uh summits and you no know, no a number of them that uh i've had it just looks a little bit lighter than that but it's got a nice pretty pretty uh tight bubbles um pretty rocky looking head there so let's go ahead and get a smell on it pretty much getting malt you know some sweet malts um, not, not too much on the hop side a little bit of a spiciness yeah that's really about it on alright well let's go ahead and dig in first thing that comes to my mind on this is that it's lighter lighter bodied than a lot of uh, the Oktoberfests are you got that sweet malt the little bit of a burnt caramel taste um, uh, uh, a real earthiness you know um, you know, and I got some of that on uh, the Summit one too, but this one s s seems to be very earthy. Somewhat gordy. A little lacing there. You know, you're the this this is dry. It, it starts out nice sweet malts, but it really dries and clears out on the palate fairly quickly. A um, little bit of last thing you you get the sweet malts, and then you get a little bit of a 
spiciness. I think that's from the hops and, and then it's, you know, it's, it, it's like, it's a palate cleanser and it's ready for another drink. But it's just a lot lighter, you know, body than so many of the Oktoberfests are, you know, 5.5% alcohol. Um, you know, it's a good one. Is it my favorite? No, but it's, it's a, it's a nice one. Um, you know, if you haven't ever had it, pick it up. I know this is a lot. I know a lot of people said this is their, their favorite one. So, um, I guess it's, you know, I, I'd probably give this 3.5 out of five. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's a nice Oktoberfest, you know, um, it is what it is. Um, that's my opinion on it anyway. So, uh, you know, I would probably pair this with, uh, I'd probably stay away for the most part with, you know, your grill. And, you know, to me, an Oktoberfest goes perfect with, you know, your um, roasted birds and, and uh, you know, your chickens and your turkey and, you know, Cornish hens and, and then as well with your, um, rabbit uh sausages you know the uh all the the german um strudels and and also something that marzen style beers go very well with is a very nice uh homemade uh macaroni and cheese um so yeah those those would be some things that i would uh pair with it but you know um and that is the Shells Brewing out of New Ulm, Minnesota. Their Oktoberfest in at 5.5%. Just a nice, nice Oktoberfest. I'd probably give it a 3.5 out of 5. Hey, thanks for joining me on another Iowa Carver Beer Review, and we'll see you soon.